welcome to this channel in this tutorial you will get learn how to implement angular router and navigation by following its official documentation if you are new to this channel subscribe this channel to get more tutorials let's get started to handle the navigation from one view to the next you use the angular router the router enables navigation by interpreting a browser URL as an instruction to change the view. Let's generate an application with routing enabled with this command. enter the application name here okay application generated and packages installed successfully now navigate to this application if you already have an application use this command to generate F routing module in your application okay and then open this application with any text editor my case visual studio code is preferred to use the angular router an application needs to have at least two components so that it can navigate from one to the other to create a component using the CLI, enter the following at the command line where first is the name of your component. Navigate to source and then app and you will see F routing module. Okay. Now open terminal and navigate to the application root directory and then use this command to generate to component create another component okay if you are working manually, make sure that you have base hyper reference in the head tag of your index.html file. That's it. To use our new components, we need to import them into Angular routing module at the top of the file. So open F routing module and import on component and then import to component. Okay. Let's define a basic route. There are three fundamental building blocks to create a route. Import the app routing module into app module and add it to the imports array. Let's open app module and here import app routing module and add this app routing module into imports array. Let's import router module and routes into your routing module let's open f routing module and here import router module and routes and also add router module into imports array and exports array let's define your routes in your routes array each route in this array is a javascript object that contains two properties the first property 
is path that defines the URL path for the route and second property component that defines the component Angular should use for the corresponding path. Let's add another path for two component. Okay. Now save this file. Now add your routes to your application. Assign the anchor tag that you want to add the route to the router link attributes. Set the value of the attribute to the component to show when a user clicks on each link. Let's add a navigation bar into app component template. Okay. Now start the development server with this command ng serve Now launch the application on this URL That's it Now update the router path okay now reload and click on the link one component and two component okay it is working now we need to add a router outlet now click on the link and verify that's it it is working now we are going to learn how to get route information. Often, as the user navigates your application, you want to pass information from one component to another. Use a route to pass this type of information to your application components. To do so, you use the activated route interface. To get information from a route at first import activated route and param map to your component i'm going to add this on one component okay Now inject an instance of activated route by adding it to your application constructor. Okay. Now update the ng on init method to access the activated route and track the name parameter. Copy this code and paste here. Define a property. Okay. Now save this file. I am going to display activated routes parameter value in console. Okay. Now inspect and now type that's it. Let's setting up wildcard routes. A well functioning application should gracefully handle when users attempt to navigate to a part of your application that does not exist. To add this functionality to your application, you set up a wheelcard route. 
the angular router selects this route anytime the requested url does not match any a router path to set up a wildcard route add the following code to your routes definition i am going to add the wildcard route for the one component now reload that's it to display a 404 page set up a wildcard route with the component property set to the component you would like to use for your 404 page as follows let's generate a component page not found component with this command open a new terminal and type here and g g for generate c for component component name page not found okay now import page not found component okay and now change the component name page not found component okay now save this file and verify is not found component works to set up a redirect configure a route with the path you want to redirect from the component you want to redirect to and a path match value that tells the router how to match the url so use this line and paste before the wheel card and here change the redirect to path one okay now save this file and verify that's it that's it okay Now we are going to learn how to implement nesting routes in Angular. As your application grows more complex, you might want to create routes that are relative to a component other than your root component. These types of nested routes are called child routes. This means you are adding a second router outlet to your application because it is in addition to the router outlet in app component let's generate two additional child components one a and one b Okay, let's add a navigation bar to your component. I am going to add this navigation bar on my one component template. Okay, change the path. Okay, save this file and then add this router outlet to one component template 
ओके सेव दिस फाइल नाउ वेरीफाई we need to add the path on route sare for this child component open app routing module and then add children array under a component i'm going to set it for one component okay now add a path for the child component for one a component and also add another path for one b component okay import on b component okay now save this file let's verify reload reload and click on child on a on a works and then click on child on b on b works if you like this video like comment and share Thank you so much for watching this video.